Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to be your opening keynote speaker for the annual School Principal Administrator Leadership Training Development Institute Workshop Summit and Gala Event Spectacular. Make sure you get a ticket for the raffle and be sure to tip your server. As you know, the theme for the summit this year is, since you cannot kill teachers, what should you do? I hope to share some effective strategies and techniques and best practices with you, and maybe a good joke or two. That reminds me of a joke. How many teachers does it take to change a light bulb? 7. It is, because they are so stupid. Thank you. But seriously, I think the first point to make is that teachers have way too much free time. There is a saying. It has something to do with having too much free time. And that it is bad. I forget. Anyway, a good way to keep this under control is to require teachers to attend lots of meetings. At least one per day. The meetings don't have to be about anything, but attendance should be monitored closely. Teachers will complain about the meetings. But they are always complaining about something. Am I right? I know. They are such babies. Thank you. Sometimes I want to bend certain ones over my knee and spank them and spank them and spank them. But I digress. Another thing to keep in mind is that teachers must believe that everything is important. No matter how many directives and requirements you give them, and no matter how small, tedious and trivial they may be, teachers must be made to believe that they are all a matter of life and death, and remember that directives are most effective at demoralizing teachers and taking up their time if they contradict one another. Let me give you an example. For instance, we need to hold students accountable, and we must also make sure almost everybody passes. Teachers will tie themselves in knots trying to figure out what to do. And everybody loses. Everybody except you. That's right. Another suggestion is to insist that teachers are preparing all students for college. At the same time, require teachers to call parents every time little Johnny shit for brain skips class or doesn't turn in a paper. My next point almost goes without saying, but I will mention it briefly anyway. Teachers should be required to collect a lot of data. Important to remember here is that the type of data teachers are required to collect should change frequently and there should be no quality control in data collection. This way teachers will never be certain what they are supposed to keep track of, or how. But there is more to our jobs than confusing teachers, frustrating them, and wasting their time. This brings us to acronyms and jargon. That's right. Thank you. Acronyms and technical jargon are crucial to all we do. And they help teachers feel important, and like they are real professionals. Acronyms make everybody noteworthy. Can I get an amen? Did you see what I just did? I made an acronym about how great acronyms are. Acronyms make everybody noteworthy. The acronym is amen. Thank you. Thank you. I recently heard about an acronym where the first letter was also the first letter of another acronym. An acronym within an acronym. This is what makes teachers tick. I should also mention Teacher Appreciation Week. It is sometime during some month of the year. Teachers look forward to this all year long. This is an opportunity to create the impression that you appreciate them and give a shit about them as people. A cheap tote bag with a box of paper clips and it will have them skipping around like little girls for weeks. Ah. But in addition to oppression and false kindness, we must always remember that teachers are inferior to us. 
therefore, we must act accordingly. Be polite, but not friendly. Remember that they look to us for guidance. So always have lots of suggestions ready any time you see a teacher. In closing, let me leave you with this thought. Teachers are lazy. They do not care about kids and are not to be trusted. Thank you. I will see you at the bar.